Welcome back everyone. Doing something a little different this time. Just got back from my vacation in Iceland. Just wanted to show a few highlights that we had on our trip. Uh, we went to Reykjavik and as well as a couple other places around Iceland. It was a fantastic time. Highly recommend it. So let's get to it. Go ahead and talk about all the food that we ate during the first part of this video. Go, feel free to skip ahead if that's not interesting to you. First stop was this coffee shop right around the corner. It was all vegan stuff. Really good. Over here, we had a uh, Arctic char and slow roasted lamb. Very good. Hot dogs here are a national dish of Iceland. These are uh, lamb hot dogs. This was Arctic char. And wolfish here. Also very good. Um, it was recommended by our food guide. Uh, I actually came back another day and had the cod tongue. That was fantastic. <clears throat> Dessert, we had the apple crumble. Bar next door, just some uh, standard fare, some lamb soup. Uh, I don't drink beer, so they served me this um, Christmas drink. Really good. And here we had an Icelandic donut and some rye bread ice cream. Service is great at this restaurant. The coffee cured salmon was delicious. Same thing with the black pasta with cod and the salad that we had gotten. All the baked goods on this trip was absolutely fantastic. On our last night in Iceland, we had brunch at Sandholt Bakery. Very, very good. I'd suggest getting this as early as possible because there's quite a long line. This is shortly after we arrived in Reykjavik out at the airport. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of dreary, rainy. Pretty common for Iceland this time of year. Um, as you can see, there's lots of uh, interesting street art and lots of other things around town. Here's a collection of all the street art we were able to find in our walks around Reykjavik. Current conditions still very windy. Not so rainy today though. Walking to Sun Voyager statue over that way. And then the concert. Alright, made it to the Sun Voyager statue. Rainy. Still walking. Side. Looks nice. Definitely not windy. <laughs> we were lucky on this trip and we were able to see the northern lights. Just be flexible because the weather can really hamper your ability to see the northern lights. Alright, rainy today. Walking to Kirtland Museum. I think you can see it, but there's a dome behind those trees. Okay, had to walk down this path. There's the museum. Still rainy. In the ice cave at Portland. It's definitely cold in here. Alright, now at the Portland Museum. He's waiting for the bus now. I'm glad the uh Bus stop is sheltered. Okay, out here at Glacier Lagoon. All these lonely icebergs just chilling everywhere. Out the 
distance over there if we can see it. Yeah. Rainy, other than the fact that it's kind of rainy. This lagoon started forming when the Braith and Mercury Opal glacier started melting. All the icebergs you see here will only take a few months for them to make it from here in this lagoon out to the sea. Here is Cellulon's Foss, made it here at night. You might notice that the color looks a little pink, and that's intentional because they had actually lit up the waterfall pink in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Now we're from Hall of Dreams Kirkia, which is a very distinct looking church in Reykjavik. It took about 41 years to make. All the columns here are made from the basalt that was mined from the island. Uh, we just missed the bell because it'll be very loud up here. It's FYI, don't want to be here at the 15 minute mark. All right, we got this big crater. Pretty spectacular view out here. A neat waterfall over here. to Gold Foss or Golden Waterfall. There's a path down there. Not too bad. Alright, down here, almost at that observation deck area. It's pretty neat some spray from the waterfall. Alright, here we are. Observation area. Up there at the top. You can see it. That's where we walked from up there. Not a hard walk at all. Alright. Got the waterfall over here. More the water actually. That was it, we missed it. <laughs> Look, I got it. Good. All right, here are the guys are just waiting for something to happen. This area is known as Geyser, 
Uh, it's basically known for all their geysers around. Also, it's a very popular destination for uh, hot springs and relaxing in hot springs. Luck of the geysers tend to erupt every uh, every couple minutes, like four to ten minutes. So we didn't have to wait long for another one to pop up again. fact, Thingvellir National Park was actually used as one of the filming locations for Game of Thrones. So if some of these scenes look a little familiar, that's probably because you've probably seen them in Game of Thrones. Alright, another gorgeous day today. We're gonna go out looking for some ice cream. We finally found the ice cream shop. Uh, interestingly enough, there's an old ice cream and a new ice cream. The main difference between the two is that the old ice cream is kind of has more of an icy texture to it, and whereas the new ice cream is essentially just like soft serve. So Iceland was a fantastic trip. Definitely recommend it to anyone. It was really easy to get around the town. The airport was easy to get through. Everybody speaks English. Everyone's really polite. Never even had to take my wallet because everyone takes Android Pay or Apple Pay. It's really, really convenient. Um, only caveat would be, I would just say, go in with the understanding that it's gonna be very cold, wet, rainy, and windy. So just gear up accordingly. Just make sure you pack a good rain jacket, some rain pants, some waterproof shoes. Um, also, make sure you understand how to layer out properly. Uh, make sure your gear has merino wool or you know some synthetic layers just to make it easier in life. You don't want to be running around just sweating like crazy. Um, also, just keep in mind that food is quite expensive, so just budget accordingly. But other than that, spectac uh, spectacular sights, so let's enjoy it, guys. <laughs> 